All right, I'm gonna show you how I did my engine mounts. The uh, the Kawasaki is getting ready to be dropped in the boat. There are a lot of axes that you need to solve for getting the single line. You gotta get it lined up left and right. You gotta get it lined up twisted. You gotta get it lined up vertically. And you gotta get the, the fore and aft all right. So there's a lot of axes that you have to get lined up in order to do that. I, uh, out of simplicity, I'm gonna take one of those out of there and uh, I just created a rail for both mounts to, uh, to bolt to. And then I'm just gonna use big 3 8 bolts going right through the sides of those engine bears. So you're using the sheer, th sheer strength of those 3 8 bolts. Jet sprint world, we're always worried about weight, so I would never do something like this in the jet sprint just because there's so much material in here. You'd always want to build everything as small as you can, but uh, I'm not too worried about the extra weight. Talk about the how we built this. This is 3 8 plate. It's an outside corner edge to edge. So what you do here is you put the tacks on the ends and what that does, it allows you to adjust the angle that this thing is sitting in. So what I did is I put this on the motor, dropped it in there, and if if the motor mount to the engine bear is not perfectly 90 degrees, you still have the option to fit that. So it's mounted to the motor. Then I clamp this to that engine bear. It sets, I don't even care what that angle is, it's 95 or whatever degrees that is. Get it perfect, and then that tack will hold that. And then like I talked about, the welding tip, is weld i put one weld down the outside corner edge flipped it over and then this inside weld pulls that back to that same angle and then i go on so then it's pretty much set and then i went and put a, a cover weld this is a big gap for my little welder i literally couldn't get enough wire feed speed to completely fill that i'm not too cared about the aesthetic i realize it's not completely filled but there are two welds in there and that's uh Plenty strong. This thing is uh, essentially a built like a rock with uh, with that. So I'm about ready to bolt this back to the engine, drop it in. Then I'm going to mark on the engine bears from the inside where those are, drill those out, and um, install the thing permanently. Talking on the phone with RS Racecraft, they were mentioning that if your boat ever takes a hit on the bottom there, that it's going to... Um, it, it has the potential to adjust the height of your uh, your engine and how it sits in there. So they recommend um, essentially mounting your engine about a quarter inch high and then shimming it down so that you always have the option of dropping your engine down. Well, I'm not going to put spacers in there. I'm using these and if I ever need to, I can just cut these out and this will essentially be a slot so the whole thing can move vertically. I, I don't need to do that right now, but if I ever do take a hit, that's all I'm gonna do is cut those so it's a slot, and then that bolt will still be able to hold that thing nice and tight. Anyway, this thing's getting ready to go in. I'll show a time lapse of that. Okay, so the motor is sitting there. You can see when I let it all the way down that I get kind of an uneven reveal on the top of the coupling here. So when I jack this thing up just a little bit, you'll start to see, okay, there it's starting to come free, that I can push this thing back in there. And what I did, that's looking about the right angle, is I pulled the spark plugs out of the engine so there's no compression. And I can sit here and rotate this thing freely by hand and watch the reveal on the top, watch the reveal on the bottom, look to see if there's any wobbling going on. And I'm about ready to secure this thing in by marking the insides of those holes, pull the motor back out, drilling those out and getting this thing mounted.
Well, it's all in. Um, kind of a milestone moment. Got all four corners, those bolts. Three of them went pretty easy. This back right corner was a little bit tough, but it, uh, it finally threaded through there. Pretty happy with the way that this thing is uh, rotating nice and freely. Put those spark plugs back in there so we don't get any junk down in those cylinder heads. But this is good because now it's time to clean out this, uh, all the tools and clamps and crap out of the back of the boat and start fitting stuff. Fitting the uh, muffler, AKA water box in here. Um, Got to weld a pipe into the bottom of the boat and to make that happen, might have to shorten some of that up. Install the fuel tank right here where I'm sitting over. No, the uh, spark plug wires, EC fuse box, that's all gonna get mounted, I believe, to the uh, forward bulkhead if that will reach. Quite a bit of space in here with a little Kawasaki in this, uh, in this boat. So that's kind of nice, not having to struggle too much with fitting. I am, I'm contemplating, I, this is kind of, since this is my first boat, I kind of just want to get it on the water. I don't know what gauges I'm going to use, if any. I'm thinking about actually mounting them on the back of the bulkhead. When I, when I run my sprint boat, I don't, I'm not looking at my, my tack or anything like that. A few things might be nice to be able to look down water temperature and stuff like that. So we'll see if, uh, but same thing. I don't really look at that when I'm running. I might look at it when I'm idling and, uh, We'll figure out that. Same thing with the start stop switch. I might just mount those uh, right between the seats on the bulkhead here. I'll figure that out, but uh, I'm gonna pause this and get to work cleaning this mess up in the bilge and get to work um, plumbing all these systems in.